right. Hey guys, today is Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? <laughs> is it Wednesday? Yeah. Today is Wednesday, it's the third. Um, I look like a absolute mess today, but it's been a cleaning day, so that was a weird noise. <laughs> um, oh, okay, sorry. Anyways, it's been a cleaning day, so I was like, I'm not even gonna do anything to kind of put on any kind of makeup or anything, and my hair I ended up throwing up and not doing at all. So yeah, that is that for today. We recently went out to Dick's Sporting Goods and then we went to Target. Dick's Sporting Goods, I'm looking for a certain Yeti. And um, I'm looking for a color, a certain color of a particular size. And they didn't have it. They said online that they had it. So I was like, you know what, I'll just go in. And then they didn't have it. So I'm gonna see tomorrow I think I'm gonna look up at um, another location that's nearby. I don't even know another location that's nearby, but hopefully I can find one. And then um, I'm gonna call them first. <laughs> and I'm looking for two colors, and the stores that I've looked, Dick Sporting Goods has one of the colors, but not the other. And then REI has the other colors. So, hopefully, but when I went to Dick's, they didn't even have the colors, so. What are you doing? Mm. Mm. Jameson is snacking at the moment. It's lunchtime, but he doesn't really eat. Like, I'll sit him down for like a full on lunch and make him a meal, and he will not eat it. He'll just like pick at it. So, I just feed him snacks and I just kind of try and stuff him as much as I can. <laughs> so, I just fed him. I just gave him cheese, like a cube of cheese, so then I'll give him some crackers or some fruit or something. He's going to need to go down for a nap. He has not had a nap this morning. Um, I got some stuff at Target because, like I said, I'm cleaning the house, so I just got some more stuff. That's mine. Yes, it is. Hey. That's mine. Jamison. Hey, don't touch. That plant that he's playing with right now is so dead. Well, it's like alive, but like he broke all, like a lot of the branches. That's why they're dangling down and stuff like that. So we need to throw it away, but it's blocking an outlet and he doesn't touch the outlet. So I don't really want to throw it away because one, it's not totally dead and Two, I just don't want him to touch that outlet. That is a baking sheet that he's playing with. <laughs> he's the biggest goofball. <sighs> what did you find? Did you find your blankie? He's like, Mom, stop. So I've cleaned, I've wiped down these counters and um, the insides of these cubes because they've just needed to be wiped down. Um, and I've also done the bathroom. Um, so I wiped down the cabinets, um, the countertops and all that stuff. I cleaned the toilet, I cleaned the inside of the shower. Um, nothing too crazy. These towels need to be washed, but I feel like they always need to be washed. So yeah, everything in here is complete. I need to clean our sheets real bad and clean this off. But that's another thing. Okay. And now I'm going to clean our couch. Um... Our couch is like a hand-me-down from my friend. They were done using it, so she's like, do you want it? And I was like, yeah, sure. And then 
we end, never ended up getting a new one because we just don't really have a point for it yet. Yet, I guess we won't need one in a couple of months. But I need to, I feel like to me it smells bad. Like it just has like that lived in odor, if you know what I mean. So I tried looking up ways because I was just going to wash it. But I'm like, that's so much work for, you know. Not a forever couch, I guess, or a couch that we're getting rid of in a couple of months. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to vacuum it and spray it with some, like, fabric cleaner stuff. I'm not a huge fan of fabric cleaner stuff, whatever, Febreze or whatever you want to call it. But I thought I would try it. So I'm going to do that. And then I want to vacuum behind these little cubes like along the carpet and stuff like that. I know there's a bunch of confetti back there from New Year's. So I want to clean that. I got a box for Jameson's toys that are right there. Just like a little storage container because um, those he doesn't really touch that much because that's just like not really his age level I really feel like yet. So. He just likes to pull it apart. So I just rather put it in a box so that way it's not just like sitting out. Um, so yeah, that's really all that I'm gonna be doing is cleaning, but I want to vacuum the couch and vacuum behind there. And then I'll put Jameson to sleep. Um, that way I can do more cleaning stuff, but that's not as loud, so. That is the game plan for that. Once he's asleep, I have to go run and go get the stuff out of my car. I have a watermelon and all my Target stuff. And I think that's it. Um, he's sitting in his little chair. Oh, he's so cute. You're crazy. He always like reclines in it though. I don't know if you can tell, but he like is reclining. I'm like, well, dang, we need to get you something that you can like lay in apparently. But anyway, so I'm gonna chop chop and get to that so he can go take a nap. I want to vacuum. I hate vacuuming. <laughs> I just got done bringing the stuff from Target. I got paper towels and toilet paper, but no one cares about that, so I won't show it. I already put it away, so. <laughs> Not that anyone really cares about any of the stuff that I got, but. Anywho. Um, I got this Pyrex dish, which is a 8x8. Eight eight. Yeah, 8x8. Eight eight. Um, I have what you guys just, like, so out of breath from just walking to the car. Um, the one that you guys just saw on the ground, that was an 8x8 eight eight pan, <laughs> if you guys like saw that or noticed it. Um, that was an 8x8 eight eight pan, but every time I use it, it like burns in the oven. So anyways, I make lemon bars a lot. They're so freaking delicious. <sighs> They're so good. But I was planning on making them tonight probably. Um, and I've been wanting a glass one anyways, so I just decided I would pick one up, and it comes with a little lid, so I thought that was convenient for, like, times that I make chicken or something, then you can just store it in the fridge like this. I have a big, like, longer one that's like this, but it's annoying. Like, it has a lid on it too, but it's just, like, annoying because then, like, for storing it, it takes up, like, all the room in the fridge, so thought this was convenient, especially because it's just me and Corey, so I don't really make anything like any casseroles that are that big or anything like that. So I thought this was good. This is the Pyrex brand. I really, really love Pyrex stuff. So highly, highly recommend. I got this little storage container for Jameson's toys that I showed you guys. Um, so I'm gonna put the VTech toys in here. That's what I'm gonna label it as. Um, he has like a bunch of VTech stuff, uh, like I said, doesn't really play with it. And I thought, you know, he'll obviously play with them. But for this moment, I'll just store them in this little box. And if he ever wants to get them out and play with them, he totally can. He knows, you know, that sometimes things like toys are in boxes and that, you know, he has to open it, whatever. So anyways, I thought I would get that just so I can make it look a little bit tidier. I got Jameson. These are so cute. This is by the brand Cat and Jack. And these are just like little swim trunks. They've been having like swim trunks at Target, but like they're all like really 
not my style and because obviously you dress your kid in more of your kind of like what you like so not really my style because they're all like super bright and pink and neon and all that kind of stuff so i just wanted something a little more simple love these you know just thought they were so cute ten dollars so got those for him i got these little plank things um these are go into your like garbage disposal so obviously we live in an apartment and who knows what people have put in our garbage disposal before us and since it's apartment we're not too picky as we should be for like a regular garbage disposal if that makes sense I mean obviously nothing that's gonna break our garbage disposal disposal but I'm not as careful as I would be if it was probably like our own hate to say it <laughs> but these are really good just to kind of freshen up your sink area even sometimes like once you've used garlic that is the worst for me if I've used garlic and washed dishes in the sink oh my god our sink is smells absolutely terrible so these are super super good I love these you just pop these into your garbage disposal and then just like run it for like 10 seconds and you'll start to smell it, it smells so good I got these Clorox wipes. Um, I love Lysol wipes. I love it for people being sick or just to touch up every now and then. That way I don't have to like deep clean all the time, if that makes sense. Um, these, I recently started getting this Tuscan Lavender and Jasmine scent and I absolutely love this scent. So, been on that. <laughs> Jameson has some bath toys that need to be cleaned, and I've read a lot about vinegar to soak them in vinegar, so I'm going to do that. I need to. <laughs> I got this um, Febreze Unstoppables fabric stuff for the couch, like I was saying earlier. I already vacuumed it, so now I need to go spray it. I, they had this scent, and by, it was by Febreze, and it was the scent Bora Bora. But they had it as an air scent and not like a fabric scent. I almost got it because it smelled so good. But then the, I don't need an air scent. I need a fabric one. And I thought, you know, I really need this to cling to fabric so it can make it smell better. So hopefully this works. If you guys, I use these like little, um, the unstoppable ball things in your wash machine. I freaking love them. And then the last thing that I got... I'm so like out of it. The last thing that I got was this Miss Myers Clean Day Peony scent. I, in fall time, I was obsessed with the mum scent. Obsessed with the mum scent. Sorry, I had to smell it again. Um, so I got it in like a cleaning spray thing. I got two soaps for two of the bath or for the sink and the bathroom. And they lasted me so long and for some reason, I don't know what it was, but I just got over the scent so fast. I was like, oh my god, I hate the scent now. So we finally finished this stuff in our bathroom and there's one, I think, on the sink. I just spit. There's one on the kitchen sink. And then I had a peppermint one for the holidays in the guest bathroom or just like a regular lavender one for just like normal guest bathroom. So I moved the lavender one into our room because we ran out and then the peppermint one is now in the bathroom. But I smelled this and I was just like, Ugh, I have to have it. But I didn't go crazy and I just got the one so that I didn't hate it. But these are really good soaps. I really like these. So, But that is all that I got from Target. I'm seriously still so out of breath. Oh my god, being pregnant, man. It's rough. It is rough. I don't know how I'm going to survive summer. Not that like, see, I don't know. I think like I'm, he's due in the middle of summer pretty much. So I feel like it won't be that bad. But at the same time, I feel like it'll be bad. It's just, it's not hot yet here. It's gotten warm. So it's gotten to like 70 degrees. 72 maybe is probably the highest that it's gotten. But I feel like it's not as warm as it has been in the past. Not that that says anything for summer. Just that I have more cool time. More cold weather time. Um, so I'm like not preparing for summer that much. But then I'm like I need to. I don't know. 
it's so hard. I hate buying maternity stuff. Maternity clothes are so expensive. And then you don't wear them for that long. And then, like, I was pregnant with Jameson in the winter time is when I was huge. But now this time I'll be huge in the summertime. So none of the pregnancy clothes that I had for Jameson really matter this one. So that's fun. I'm glad I did that. But I did get a pair of shorts, two pairs of shorts, which I don't think they'll last me all summer. That meaning, like, I think I'll grow out of them. I got my size, but for some reason they're just, like, too tight. I just, I don't know. I don't know if it's that or if I just don't like wearing tight things while being pregnant. I don't know what it is. So, anyways. But then I'm like, I also will not be pregnant in summer and I don't have anything to wear for not being pregnant. I just, I literally need to go shopping. And I don't want to. But anyways, I put my sheets in the washer. I would tell you what I was saying. My sheets in the washer. Jameson's obviously down for a nap. I'm going to sit on, I'm going to spray the couch. Put all this stuff away. And then I'm going to take a break. <laughs> I, I vacuumed everything that I said I wanted to and the ground. And I'd love to vacuum this room, but I know that, like, that'll wake up Jameson. So I'm not going to do that until he wakes up. So I just want to, like, chill out and relax for a second. I would love to keep going um, so I could get everything done before Corey gets home. But I'm just, like, not in the... I'm not... I'm tired. I'm tired. I need to sit down and put my feet up. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do and just watch YouTube videos. That's what I do in my, my downtime. It's a very exciting life of a stay at home mom. Hey, no, no, no.